everyone. Welcome back to Beauty and the Broken. My name is Heather and the purpose of this channel is to find, seek, create beauty, sometimes out of a mess. So as you can see, I have quite a few things in front of me today. Um, this is my first time ever pouring on, on a three-dimensional object instead of on a flat canvas. So what I have is eggs because it is currently March. Actually, it's the very beginning of March, so you'll probably see this toward the middle. But um, it is getting close to Easter, and one of the symbols of Easter is the egg, and symbolizes new life and just the beauty of the season of Easter. So I am going to pour on these eggs. Now let me show you how I did it. Each of these is sitting in this uh, tray. So these, ah, here we go. There is the egg and let's see, there is a mark right there. Mm, yeah, that looks to be about the middle and I'm just using a regular push pin and it is pretty solid. So it is harder to get in and I'm going to just push it down on my table to get it all the way in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna take it out. Seems counterintuitive, but I already have a, a push pin sticking up there. And so I'm gonna hold that in place. You see that? And then put that, like I said, I was gonna hold it in place and put that there. Well, <laughs> all the other ones are standing up straight. Let's see if we can get this one to stand up straight. There. Okay. So now when I pour on it, um, they none of them are touching. They look close, but none of them are touching. All right. So what do I have here? I have a whole bunch of, now these are actually black light reactive paints but I'm just using them for the um, spring Eastery colors. So we have a pale blue, we have a bright pink, a pinkish blue, like a, almost a purple. Then there's a, an orange, a pinky orange, kind of a salmon color, a bright green, a yellowy orange, and a yellow. And then I also mixed up a little bit of gold just to add a little sparkle. I don't care if it mixes in as long as it just gives a sparkle or if it stays out, if it stays separate, that's fine too. Now these paints here, um, these are craft paints. So these are not professional artist paints. And honestly, I would not recommend, I've used them a few times and I would not recommend them for any kind of professional type painting. Um, so I don't even know what the brand name is. I can find it and in case you wanna do something with the kids or you just wanna do something crafty at home, then I will put this in the description. Uh, but it's not one I recommend for anything professional. So we're just having some fun here today. All right, so the game plan is to layer this cup and to pour it over each of the eggs and then probably come back and re-layer um, because I don't know that it will, you know, it will be completely covered the first with the first pass. So I'm going to put a little bit of each color in. Start with the yellow and then a drop of gold. Oh, the gold, you know what? The gold is a little thicker. Let's add a little water to that. Just get a couple drops in there. See if we can get that to move to have the same consistency. This is a different brand of paint. This is that Wadati's gold that I used in the first two paintings that I did. Let's see if that pours a little bit nicer. You know, it's still a little thicker than the other one. So just give a couple more drops. 
slowly pour. Oh, you can't even see. I'm so sorry. It's always good to keep some water on the side in case something thickens uh, while you're while it's waiting to be used. It really is a pretty color. All right. So like I said, I just want a little bit in between. I'm going to put that here since I'm going to put it in between each color. And here is the light orange. And just a drop. So I just want a little sparkle. There's not as much of this one as the other colors I had run out. Oops, that's more than a drop, isn't it? <laughs> okay, here is that bright, bright pink. Like I said, these are black light reactive, so um, these eggs might look pretty cool under a black light. Unfortunately, I do not have one, though I am going to try and get one. All right, now let's shift into the blue. I'm just going to do one pass of the colors for now and then see how much it covers on the eggs. And then we'll come back if we need to. That one's just a little bit lighter. It's, it looked a little, I think it's actually called pink purple instead of just pink. But, and then this one is more of a salmon color. And so my hope with this is that each egg is going to end up looking a little bit different because it's going to be hit at a different place in the layering of the cup. And some of it, of course, is going to fall completely off the egg. But I have them, as you saw, they're raised up. So they should drip down any drips. All right. That's really pretty in there. Look at all those colors. All right. Turn it around. And let me move this. Let's see. We'll move that out of the way. So you have a good shot of the eggs. In fact, let me get that closer to the camera. There we go. Oh, that one does look like it's touching now. All right. Let's begin. Oh, that one is definitely, they are definitely blending. Like I said, this is just cheap craft paint. I do like that. The first two came out really nice. The rest seem to have an awful lot of the yellow and orange look to them. So that being left in my cup, I'm going to go over those again just to make sure that they are completely covered. There's some green. I may at the... Uh, when they when they dry i may have to do some touch-ups on the side but looks like let's see yeah i see a couple more i'm going to do i'm gonna not do the yellow either one of the yellows i think we have enough of the yellow so let's 
I'm just going to finish this off. One is done. Let's uh, let's go to. Can you see? There we go. Let's go to this pink. I just poured that straight in from, from a little higher up. So that one definitely mixed in. So maybe we'll get some purple blending there. I think I'm going to throw in a little bit more of that gold. Just drizzle that on the top. Probably should have put my gloves on, but I have pretty gold fingers now. And then... Let's do let's do the green. This is gonna to be too much paint, but maybe we'll get a different look. Actually, I do have one other egg over here that's attached to a canvas, so I may I may try and do that as well. Let's see. And last but not least, this pink. Try this again. I know that we need some more on this side, and we need some more on. I think I just ah, I dripped. Let's just double check. Definitely need some more over here. Let's see if it goes all the way down. It is going. All the way down. Let's get a little pink on this one. And let's get a little pink on this one. And I think I'm just going to have to come back when I get to the other colors. There we go. It is dripping. <laughs> like I said, I am just having some fun with these colors today and these eggs. Let's see, a little bit over on this side. I think I like the pink and the, the pinks a little bit better than those orangey yellows. And usually, orange is one of my favorite colors in case you can't tell with my, um, my paint mat and my resin mat that I use. Let's see if we can get another, again, yeah, right, that this is pretty much all pink. All right, I'm going to walk around and look on the other sides. Okay. All right. You can see that this one is needing a little help back here. <laughs> it's coming out the holes in the top of the egg carton. But I think we are now, I'm going to get in front of the light here, I'm sorry, but I just want to make sure. Yep, and what I'm probably going to do is see if I can't, because um, it, did, it did puddle enough, and I don't want that to come off, you know, to peel off the egg once it's done. So I think what I will do is I will try and get some holes into the egg carton and or try and soak some of that up so that it does not end up that way. 
All right, well, I think that's where we're gonna end for the day. And I do see, I'm just gonna try and do just the tiniest bit because it seems to be like caught right there, if that's a good word. Let's see. So we want it all to drain, drain, drip, drop evenly. Okay, that's moving down nicely now. And on that side as well. All right. Well, then I will be back for the, uh, the beauty reveal to see how these dried. And I do see some of that gold, so I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get some sparkle. All right. Thank you. We'll see you in a minute. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, welcome back to the beauty reveal. Um, as predicted, the uh, there was not enough clearance at the bottom of the eggs and the top of the, um, what is this, the egg carton that I used. And so, as a result, we've got that ugliness. So, that you can see that's where the push pins were. And there was not enough clearance. Even though I tried, I tried to break this up and let the paint drain out. In fact, I got some really cool looking skins from that. So when it um, when it dripped out, leaked out, I got that one. Picked up some of the other dirty, <laughs> dirty paint on my silicone there, but I got that one. And I got that one. I thought they were, they were pretty. So we'll be making something with those at some point. All right. So as you can see, I already, um, I already tried to, to come up with a solution and is it the best solution? I'm not sure. They're still wet. Um, but I thought it kind of looked like maybe I should just bring it up higher. I'm not sure yet, but you know those um, egg cups? You know, we used to put the eggs just sitting in an egg cup. So I thought maybe if we just coat the bottom, it looks more like one of those traditional egg cups. Like if I took this, kind of that idea. So as you can see, I also made a gold one. <laughs> I thought the gold one was pretty. The goose that lays the golden egg. So we have a, we have a golden egg. All right, so I'm just gonna show you what I did. Um, I'm not gonna make you watch all six of those, but what I did was I took that paint. This is the Wadati's gold paint that I used, and just this is just straight out of the bottle. There's nothing mixed in with it. Oh, you know what, before I even do that, let me just show you how these came out. Um, I don't really like the gold mixed in with the colors, but I think, I think some of the colors and the drippings just came out really, really pretty. I guess I could show you them in order. Now this was kind of cool the way the, the gold dripped off. I like that. Almost made some, some stripes. And then this one got a little more bolder color on the top. It's not showing up as bold on the camera as it does, as it is in person. And then this one, I think I must have picked up some gold to dribble it because it just seems to start, start right there. Trying not to, there's a glare no matter what I do. And then last but not least, there's that and these little bits that you see on some of them that was when I put them in here um, thinking they were totally dry and they weren't totally dry but um, I, I'm gonna clean those parts off later you don't need to see me do that anyway so again this is just straight straight out of the out of the bottle I've got just got a little bit in the lid and that one kind of really made a mess. You 
can see how much. So all I'm going to do, make sure I'm in the light. And again, I, the, the colors are bolder in person than they are showing up on the camera. And I apologize for that. But unfortunately, there's really not much I can do about it. Now it's, I would tape these off except for the fact that they're round and that would just be a little bit more difficult to do. So <laughs> I did not quite line it up. I angled. I don't think anybody's going to measure. So once I have the line, I can just fill in. Cover the top. That one had a lot that was left on there. I suppose I could try and scrape some of that off. Um, if you hear creaking, I apologize for that. I'm apologizing a lot today, but um, it's very windy today and it's making quite a bit of noise. Okay. This is going to take multiple coats to get it to be as solid as I would like. So I'm just going to show you that. And then I think what I will do is I will... Um, I will sign off on this video, but then once they are all dry, maybe put them in a, in a bowl or an Easter basket or something and take a photo and put it in the community tab so you guys can see what they all look like. So again, not horrible, um, not professional enough to put <laughs> into my Kofi shop um, and expect someone to actually pay money for them, but they will look pretty as a decoration um, for my Easter celebration. So I'm gonna put that in there to dry. And like I said, I'm not gonna make you sit through all of them, but you get the point. And once they are all dry, I will put a photo in the community tab. All right, thank you very much. And remember to seek beauty because Obviously, we can find some beauty in these, even if they're not all perfect. So I'll bet that if you look hard enough, you can find some beauty in your own life. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.